What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we got the roadmap for August and September. And to be honest, I'm really, really happy to see a lot of good things coming in the West version of Lost Ark. But what makes me really, really happy is that actually Amazon Case Studio is improving their communication with the players. And it's actually really nice to be able to know what is going to come, what is the next class uh, coming in September really really in advance so we can actually prepare for that right so the scouter mains and stuff can actually stop honing their current main and they can actually prepare uh, to main their scouter right so i think those kind of things are pretty nice and i do like these kind of improvements and i do hope we're gonna uh, they're gonna continue to actually uh, uh, have this kind of nice communication with the players right all right, so let's talk about this roadmap. And um, to be honest, I'm going to skip a lot of stuff. I'm going to focus on the things that are considered the most important, which is basically the clan raid. And so obviously other things are important, such as the pet things and, you know, so like the life features, improvements and stuff like that. But to be honest, those are pretty straightforward. There's not much things to talk about that. It's just a, a nice features that we get in the worst version of Lost Ark. And I do think uh, that's, pretty, uh, that's pretty straightforward, right? And so we're going to talk about Clown Raid. And so obviously we saw that it's going to be on part 2 of September update. So I do assume that's going to be nearly at the end of September, maybe around like 20th of September. And so that basically means we have more than a month to actually prepare for that raid. And as you guys may know, that raid is actually damn hard. And we need 5 engravings and a lot of stuff like that that you guys may have heard. And so, as I said, you have more than a month to actually prepare for that. So you don't need to actually FOMO anything from today or in the next few weeks. You can slowly build your five engravings, your tripods and stuff like that. You have time. So you don't really need to FOMO anything or swipe anything uh, because we got the news today, right? We have a lot of time ahead. And so don't really rush anything, right? And so the next thing I want to talk about is that Coco Satan has two versions, as you guys may have seen in the roadmap. There is a rehearsal version and the normal mode, right? And so the rehearsal version is 1385 and normal mode is 1475, right? Now the easier version has a, lock, a different lockout than the normal mode, which basically means you can do the rehearsal uh, version in one character and you can also do the normal mode uh, on your main or on your other character that is uh, at 1475, right? Now, if you do normal mode first on your main, you cannot do the rehearsal version afterwards. So basically, if you do the rehearsal version first on your alt that actually can do it, right, uh, above 1385, and then once you finish that, you can also do uh, the normal mode of clown raid with your main. So make sure you do rehearsal version first and then you do normal mode because if you do normal mode first, you cannot do rehearsal, right? And you will miss on some tokens that you can actually spend. And we're going to talk about these tokens that you get from the clown raid. And so basically, a uh, clown raid has a vendor that you can spend these tokens that you get when you, you clear the raid, right? And so we didn't have that for Vartan, we didn't have that for Varkas. I mean, we did have them, but they only gave like, uh, I don't know, these emoticons and stuff that actually nobody cares, right? I mean, they, are, they look pretty nice, but to be honest, it doesn't really change anything from the game. It doesn't improve anything from the player's experience. But anyway, the clown raid will have a vendor and that vendor is actually selling a lot of good stuff. Uh, actually, a lot of incredible stuff, such as legendary selection card pack. Uh, a lot of materials, a lot of silver, a lot of honing books, and actually uh, also a legendary battle engraving selection pouch. And so, as you guys may see, this is actually pretty big, and that can actually improve your experience uh, by quite a lot. So you have to plan in advance what are you going to buy from these, and also how you're going to spend these, either for your main or either for your alt, either for your new scouter alt, whatever it is, you have to plan in advance and actually uh, use these materials wisely, right? You don't want to uh, buy anything right now that you can actually get from these vendors, right? And so the next thing I want to talk about is that Kuku Satan is a pretty damn hard raid. And so unlike Vartan and Vakas, Kuku will be really, really hard. And so there will be times when 
the party damage is not enough to clear the raid and so the boss will basically enrage and he will one shot everyone right and so that happens a lot even in korea still today and so if you can afford it you should actually uh, be overgeared for that content and it doesn't hurt because uh, apparently at Kukusetan you can skip some mechanics if you have actually a lot of damage but uh, obviously you know you don't really uh, want to do that as an easy mod or whatever that's not what I'm saying but that raid is actually not really designed to be at the minimal gear level requirement to, for that raid right you're gonna have a lot of frustrating time if you uh, actually only go for like 1475 and like 5 engravings and like level 5 gems and stuff like that it will be really really hard to clear that raid you will basically need to play perfectly and that's not only you your old party members will also need to play perfectly right and so if you can afford it it doesn't hurt to be a little bit over geared for the content a bit more damage doesn't really hurt so that's basically what i mean and i do think uh, the most important in here is that you guys may know that uh engraving five engravings is required everybody will have five engravings for the raid uh everybody will have like level seven gems for the raid i think but uh it's also very 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 important to actually have level four tripods on some of your most important skills that does a lot of damage you need to work on your tripods because tripods is one of these things that actually upgrades your damage by a substantial amount it's like uh, gems and engravings and tripods and obviously your gear those are the things that upgrade your damage by a substantial amount right and so obviously you want to work on your tripods because those are really really important and it does upgrade the damage and you will have an easier time challenging Kuku Satan with your friends or in parks or whatever right and so guys that will basically be it for this video I wanted to talk a bit about Kuku Satan and I'm really really excited as I said at the beginning of this video I hope you guys are enjoying Lost Ark and I will see you on the next one peace